our seven day outlook. Celebrating National Ice Cream Month, and we're going to get to the tasting in just a second. Yes, but we want to take a look at some temperatures because they're pretty much the entire country is going to be warm enough that ice cream is a great idea for you. And at least take a look outside at what we're expecting for today's highs. The real heat in the country in Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, the next few days, that's going to be unchanging. Phoenix yesterday, 118. We'll start to see a little bit cooler weather the next couple days. And by a little bit cooler, you're still talking triple digits and shifting up towards New York City for your Sunday, 79 degrees. And of course, there, the cooler temperatures with the chances for some showers to so maybe keep us cool. So Mike Bettis and Dr. Greg Forbes have been joining us all morning long talking ice cream because Dr. Forbes, well, you're a self-proclaimed ice cream addict, but I think you love ice cream as much as you love forecasting. I do. And Mike, you learned this while on the Great Tornado Hunt. It was climb. a huge shock because every time we went to Mary's, like, well, is there a Brahm somewhere? Is there a dairy queen somewhere? <laughs> so it was a lot of frequent stops for, for wait, gas wait, and then there, for ice cream. <laughs> all right, so your favorite flavor has chocolate in it. Yeah. Yours uh, has, has chocolate has mint chocolate chip is it. my favorite. Chocolate right. in it. I'm a peanut butter chocolate guy. And, and I like chocolate peanut butter too, but that's not even in the list. Top flavor consumed in the U.S. is vanilla, 27.8%. Chocolate only gets 14% of the vote. Strawberry, 3%. Chocolate chip, 3%. And butter pecan. I'm surprised how high it's up there, but 2%. So we're going to taste test chocolate. But you can put chocolate syrup on vanilla, which... And actually, yeah. chocolate syrup is <laughs> the number one ice cream topping, so it's up there. All right, so I bet... Can you bring in the chocolate? We have uh, four yes. different brands of chocolate ice cream that we've been testing, and we've had three of them already. We're comparing. This this has been the most difficult to me right. so far. Uh, this, yeah, the, the vanillas really stood out. They were very different. They were different very ones, different. Now, the chocolates, the chocolates are all were similar. A lot closer, yeah. For, and different in color, but definitely different in taste. Now, of the four we've tasted, I think three taste almost identical. And one stood out to yeah. me. One stood out to me, too. It was um, also the one that was darker in color. Yes, the color was different. Was Are it a dark all? chocolate, or was it a... No, no, they're all just chocolate. They're all, wait, let me ask the expert. They're all just chocolate. All, just chocolate. all right, well, let's look at the flavors. You guys know which one yep, you like the best? I like number two. Yep. I like number two. Yep. Yeah, that's two. For Tossing. me, it's a t almost a toss-up between number one and number four. I, I might have to have a little bit more to uh, <laughs> make up my mind. All right, so three twos and one, one four. Here are the flavors. We've got Bluebell is number one. Two is Briars. All right. I would have guessed that, actually. It was really good. Number three was, was haagen and then Mayfield. Um, so this is Mayfield. The, this is the least chocolatey of them, if, if you would. It, it tasted, uh, three of them tasted a little powdery to me. And number two tasted the creamiest to me. So number four is yeah. on your, your top compared to number one, which is One and four bell. are my, my top ratings. Briars. I'm giving it to Briars. <laughs> All right, so Dr. Forbes is eating with a silver spoon, by the way. Um, and we should explain. We should explain why. <laughs> the taste tester for Edie's, his name is John Harrison. His taste buds are insured for a million dollars. Are your taste buds insured? Uh, Weather Channel? <laughs> I need any uh, clues there? <laughs> no, uh, but actually, he has tested more than 200 million gallons of ice cream, not Dr. Forbes, but, you know, the Edie's He's taste working tester. on it. These might be close, though. I don't know. There's a chance. Well, he, he only eats off of a 24 karat gold spoon, so the best we could do was silver for you. All right, he's pretty good. <laughs> I, I want to know if the Penn State creamier maybe is going to make a, a Storm Master G Twist flavor of ice oh. cream. Uh, yeah, well, right. we, should, we should submit right. some suggestions for that. Or, you know, you've got your Dairy Queen Blizzard that needs to make <laughs> that, a twist. Absolutely. Sounds good. So we are going to test some of the uh, the specialty flavors coming up. We've got some unique ones. Uh, we've already done champagne. Now, I know there's a beer ice cream. I don't know if we're going to taste that today. <laughs> it just seems like it would taste like a frat house baseball. I'm not sure that makes sense. <laughs> or at least smell like it, because yeah. we are going to test pizza. Well, there it is. That one I'm looking forward beer. to. Yeah, 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 beer, yeah, beer, beer pizza. pizza. Yeah, Who needs good. ice cream? And, and there's a corn flavor. What's more American than corn on the cob for the 4th of July? All right, this is, you can have a whole meal, because we have the maple yeah. bacon ice cream. So you basically have all your food groups. Peach Paterno, I mean. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, you know, <laughs> Meanwhile, you're fruits. consuming a year's worth of fat <laughs> in one sitting. Right? It's like it's just feel this expanding at this point right now. I'm going to let my dog eat some. I didn't know that they actually made. I'm a new dog owner. Um, I did, had no idea that they actually have dog ice cream. Yeah, frosty bugs. And because dogs can't eat this kind of ice cream, right? right? I no, guess, no. For right. Sugar and chocolate both bad for them. So uh, all right. it's without sugar and chocolate. All right. Well, ice cream has been around for a while. In fact, uh, before Christ, ice cream was around. But immigrants on Ellis Island were actually served 
Hugged ice cream as part of their first meal in America. So, yes, there's a deep history in the U.S. of ice cream. We eat more ice cream here than anywhere else in the world, and we'll keep testing it this morning on Ice Cream Sunday. All right, Todd, thanks for that. Let's talk ice cream a little more this morning. We've had some fun times tasting and talking about your favorite flavors. It's our, our poll question this morning. We'll get to that in a second. Did you know that 80% of the world's vanilla bean used for ice cream is grown in Madagascar? Interesting stuff. That's our single scoop for this hour. But let's show you more about the responses that you've had to the question, what is the best ice cream that you've ever had? It's our poll question this morning. Jeff Reimer says, homemade strawberry, frozen stiff with that little hint of salt from the dipping spoon. You know, whoever invented salt or thought of using salt to cool ice cream, genius. All right, Barry says, my favorite was always the homemade vanilla ice cream that we made when we had family get-togethers back when I was a kid. Great memories. Do it on the 4th of July weekend. Have fun with it. We'll taste more when we come back. The Week Ahead. Mike Bettis along with severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes out on the great tornado hunt. Instead of hunting tornadoes, we've decided we would, for the 4th of July, hunt ice cream. And Dr. Forbes and I have been enjoying this uh, Maria La Rosa's Maria Mint Chip. This, this is really good. Yeah, it really is. I hope she didn't think it was all going to be left if she <laughs> left it here with us in the freezer. We, but what's more American than ice cream on the 4th of July? There's a really excellent stuff. This is, a, this is a cushy assignment. Yeah, this is really nice. And a happy 4th of July, everybody. So, uh, to, uh, Todd and um, Jen, we're excited about being out here eating ice cream, but you better hurry up and get out of here. It's going to be all gone very soon. This guy's got an appetite. I have to try Maria's, seriously. Oh, it's really good. And I'm, I'm getting worried leaving them with the ice cream because they have the bucket of spoons, too, so they're going to keep dipping in. The whole bank account of ice cream is in that freezer right next to them. And literally bank account because ice cream has gotten expensive. I think a, a gallon is like 3 $4 these days, maybe even nice. more. All right, that'll do it. Well, hey, you know, here's our seven day outlook. And July is National Ice Cream Month. Ronald Reagan back in 1984 wanted to make people buy ice cream to help the dairy sales so yeah. said why not national ice cream month so we said why not let's celebrate i know and the more the better honestly huge numbers consumed worldwide i think the number i got was 1.6 billion gallons per year that is a lot of ice yeah. cream what did you compare it to oh i compared it to uh, that, now the number is floating if you use that number niagara falls the canadian side would run for 45 minutes uh, worth of ice cream only to actually use that much and the american side i think was uh two hours almost three hours 2.9 hours that's crazy we yeah. eat a lot of ice cream we're going <laughs> to eat do. some actually right here in just a moment we want to make sure you the forecast for today and so many of you are going to be wishing for ice cream with the heat that we are looking at we've got temperatures that will break the triple digits yet again in texas 102 is the forecast high in dallas we're going to keep watching it here, expanding, actually, as we head into the southeast uh, the next couple of days. This heat wave isn't really going to get us in the northeast. We'll, we'll feel warm. Humidity will be high, yes, but the core of the, the real dangerous heat will be in the south, where heat indices are going to reach 103 to 105. Dangerous, especially into the afternoon when that sun is shining brightly. And we're going to do a little taste testing yes. of ice cream right now, bringing in Mike Bettis and Dr. Greg Forbes. Spoon ready. Ooh. Spoon ready. ready, to go. Spoon ready. I need a spoon. All right, so this, this thank you, sir. Uh, we are going to taste some of the crazy flavors. This has yes. been our favorite part of the day. <laughs> we have brought out some fantastic flavors from small mom and pop ice cream shops from around the country. They so graciously sent them to us. Uh, let's see, Whoa. which we've got horseradish. Which should we do first? This is pizza. the horseradish, right? Yeah. Horse, okay, horse so radish. that's horseradish. Oh boy. No, wait, Perfect. no, no, no. Or pizza. Wait, that's pizza. That's ginger. That's ginger. Okay. This is ginger. Pizza I'm out of ginger. order. I'm out of order. Perfect. All right. All right. Ginger. This is we ginger. should do this one second ginger. to kind of cleanse mm. the palate. Right. This is ginger from Mount Tom's in East Hampton. Ooh. That's all right. Oh. That's, um, it's like ginger ale but creamy. <laughs> that's potent. This is strong. Pretty good. Ooh, and there are actually pieces of ginger I, in there. I need some wasabi uh. with mine. Oh my gosh, I said that I wasn't going to. I'm going to need I don't need to wash that one down. All right, so the, so the way this works, if you're just joining us, we've got a rating system. We're going to rate it on anywhere from one to four scoops. Dr. Forbes, what do you give it? I gave it a two. That's pretty good. I'm um, I'm not sure ginger should go in ice cream. I give that a one. <laughs> 
I'll give it a two. I'll be generous, I think, in this one. I didn't want to give anyone a one, but now Tom's, I'm sorry. <laughs> ginger? <laughs> you know what? But the ginger on its own, I think, is fine. And other things, I just don't think it's an ice cream. It flavor. needs wasabi. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's, let's go to pizza. Let's go right. to pizza. This is Max and Mina's. Uh, Max and Mina's from Flushing, New York. Palette here. Now, I smelled this earlier. Thanks. I guess I have to lick this ginger. All right. Interesting. All right. What flavor pizza is this? And it really smelled this? like pizza. It's not Hawaiian. Wow. But does it taste like pizza, or do you We're just because really it comes we tell you it? It tastes a little bit of the pizza in it. Yeah. I'm not sure I would order it. I taste it. tomato. <laughs> I taste tomato. Mm. Oh, there. Um, there's there's it becomes dough. more. It becomes more pizza-like, I guess. Yeah. I don't know it's sort of that one either. There's, so there's dough in here, but it's right. not cookie dough. It really is. Yeah, it's, it really does. It's pizza it dough. is definitely pizza dough. It's definitely interesting. I'm I'm not sure that I would give it a real high rank, but it's it's very interesting. Interesting. Place. I could not tell what kind of pizza it was, so for that reason, I'm giving it a one. <laughs> I'm giving it a three only for one reason. It's the creativity, because at that point you're going so far outside of the box of what comes in pizza. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it that. I give it a two because it tastes like pizza. I mean, it's crazy <laughs> that you can make ice cream taste like pizza. All right, let's move on. We have our next flavor is summer peach. Oh, Not peachy right. paterno, so this is a different one. So we're the peachy paterno is, is pretty good. This is summer peach by Graders. This is the really thick, creamy ice cream that it's so heavy. I think it weighs like a pound. What is it? A pound every gallon versus eight ounces or something. I mean, it's oh, wow. very, very heavy. Well, big pieces of peach in there. Yeah, wow. No peach in there. That's All right, good. what do you guys think about the ratings mm, in this that's one? That's really good. I, yep. I like it. I give it a three. I'm gonna give that a three as well. Oh, I peach. It's um, it's July 4th almost. Peaches yeah. are in season. I give it a four. I, like I love that. it. All right, you guys, we got last one. Death yes. by chocolate, the Penn State <laughs> well, Creamery. There's one way to die. Ooh. Yeah. Perfect way. Have you got to die? We got a, a few seconds here. Ooh, it's really fluffy. Whoa. This is awesome. That's wild. All right, guys, hold up your ratings. Oh. Penn State Master, Creamery. Big thumbs up yeah. on that one. Death by chocolate. If we don't yeah. come back, you know what happened to us. <laughs> chocolate. So since uh, the weather's in crazy, crazy, we're able to have some fun with Ice Cream Sunday Day here on Weekend View. I'm going to give you the forecast for some ice cream parlors from around the country and the ones that we got the ice cream from. Penn State's Berkeley Creamery. We've got 84 degrees with the chance of a storm today. Tomorrow will be sunny. How about Mount Tom's homemade ice cream in East Hampton? You've got 83 degrees with storms, but sunny tomorrow. That sounds pretty good. All right, we got Max and Mina's in Flushing, New York, stormy today, sunny tomorrow, and Raiders ice cream from Cincinnati. Storms today, and there is the slight chance of storms tomorrow. Temperatures right around 90 degrees. All right, so we have all picked out the flavor that we most wanted to try. We're going to give it a rating. All right, so I've got, I picked out the salted butter caramel from Mount Tom's. What did you pick? See, I took one for the team. Nobody wanted to try the horseradish, so <laughs> I went for the horseradish. I have corn. <laughs> and uh, we had the pizza, so I figured I had to wash it down with the beer. All right. So I have beer right. ice cream. All right. This is perfect. This might be perfect. Wow. Interesting. Now this, no, and this, this, this and ice is cream. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I, this, tastes, this tastes like light beer. It doesn't taste like full body. you got to have corn for the 4th of July. That's mm. right. I mean, seriously, that's all American. In horseradish, I don't have a word, but it's really good. I would give it two thumbs up for sure. It's a really <laughs> interesting. Scoop. I'm going to get myself a scoop. All right, what, what do you guys else? rate it? What do you rate it? I'm I've never tasted anything like this. A four. The on beer, the beer ice, ice cream. cream. Four. I'm going to two for corn. For the corn? I'm going to go straight to four. This is That's a really wild one. And Maximina's has had some incredible flavors for us today, but that one's really good. Well, Mount Tom's, the salted butter caramel is perfect. I give it a four as well. All right, so we have some special treats here for uh, for Joplin. I didn't know that they actually, Frosty Paws, I didn't know they actually made ice cream for dogs. So we're going to we're gonna see if she, she actually likes it or not. Are you ready, girl? You want to try that? Oh. You want to look here? I'll scoop you out a little bit of that. You like? She? I think she likes it. Oh, I think it. she likes it. That's peanut butter flavor. That'd be nice. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you like we, that? we've all talked about peanut butter. <laughs> oh. she gets a more, a more scoop. I'll tell you what. We'll just we'll just leave her a little down there. Joplin, Joplin has had more Good TV girl. time than anyone here at the Weather Channel. All right, so we have a couple other flavors. We've got this triple chocolate peanut butter sundae, since mm. we all like peanut all right. butter uh, and chocolate so much. And oh, look, specialty arrived just for us. <laughs> We'll taste that. Mm -hmm. And then why, why you guys are eating that, I'm going to put this away so it doesn't melt. Um, you don't have to force us to eat this, by yeah, the way. This is... Dr. What is Forbes? this again? Oh, this is... So Dr. Forbes likes chocolate peanut butter. Mm -hmm, I sure do. He, mm -hmm. likes, he likes ice cream. He mm -hmm. loves Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to make him a Coke float. Cool. Oh, that's neat. Mmm. 
All right, so this one, wait, so this is the peanut butter. This is the tri butter. triple chocolate peanut butter. Good call, that's it, good. Sunday. Yes, I Sunday. Say the best good. Realized, this is it's really good. good. The I marshmallows in there. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Oh, How's it taste after What's, What are you guys going to rate it? I think I might have to go back to the beer and wash <laughs> this one down with a little bit more beer ice cream. Very good. I really like this one. Dr. Ford, Thank you. our special guest today at the a Coke Float with Bluebell Vanilla, which won our taste test, by the way. That's right. That's very good. Very but the good. vanilla one was actually a close one. That was at least a close part of the taste test. The chocolate, you know, that we, we were pretty unanimous on that one. So you guys know the reason why Sundays are called Sundays? Because originally, uh, a Sunday, a true ice cream with chocolate syrup, could only be served on a Sunday. And then, you know, a little kid, a 10-year-old, said, why? <laughs> so Can't they, say no. They served them every day. Yeah. But I have ice cream every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joplin liked her Frosty Paws? She's on number two oh, on. now. So oh, I've been trying wow. to get, I've been, she's a little thin after the tour. Tornado. She's a tornado rescue, so I'm trying to add about five pounds to her. So I'm just going to keep feeding her those all day today. All right, this has been good. Everyone, thanks for joining us. Weekend View Ice Cream Sunday. Get some ice cream. Enjoy your Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. <laughs>